Welcome to Life is Hard TV, the life show for the rest of us, and this is our first official episode. It is. Um, welcome to it. Yeah, welcome to it, everyone, and congrats on the first episode. Absolutely. I'm excited. What's the question of the day? What are we talking about today? Because it's a good one. question of the day is uh, privacy around with kids. Yeah. You know, in general. Yeah. You know, the, the internet stuff, letting them on the internet, that's, that's always a huge topic. It is. Facebook. You know, my wife's on Facebook. Um, we're on Facebook. Yeah, now, a lot of people have their family photos on Facebook and their kids. And yeah. they, I mean, it's just, I think that's opening up way too much. I'm not a fan of having uh, my kids' pictures on Facebook tied into your first and last name. Right. There's way too much there. I know that you need to invite friends and only, but. Well, and there's also, there, you know, I don't want to make this all about Facebook, but I've spent a lot of time on Facebook uh, with the privacy settings. And there are, they are get, they've gotten much better over the last couple of years in terms of making you, you know, I want that album or that photo to be available to anybody or just friends or whatever. So there are some protections, but the larger question, the thing that got us started about this was your, your uh, hopefully it won't ring during this episode again, but your, right. <laughs> your answer machine has your kids' voices on it. Right. Um, I, I can't remember if I, I never call home anymore. I mean, I'm always on cell. I think it's your uh, voice saying you've reached the, you actually recite the number. Got it. Right. Oh, because you know we changed that years ago. So it's funny. Mm -hmm. I've already had this conversation in my head already. Uh, we, you're right. If you call my home number, you get me talking about you've reached uh, our number. Right. X X X. You know whatever. Right. Five 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 one. Five 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 one two one two. And but we had this conversation a long time ago, even pre kids, I think, because it was like I just didn't want people to know. Kids adds another dimension. You got your your daughter, uh, very cute. It's a great message. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. It's cute. You you know you, you want your kid to get on there and do the greeting yeah. and you know the, do you say your last name with the kids? Well, I don't know. I mean, who, welcome to the friends the call. We have call ID. Great. Eighty percent of our calls are telemarketers. They don't leave really? message might... anyway. At least. Huh. Probably say, more than half. I don't know. Sixty. I, don't, I haven't counted, but a lot more than half. Substantial yeah. amount. Uh, and they all hear the name and the kid's voice, so they know you have kids and right. your name. I, I don't know if it's the right thing to do, really. Now, what about you know? What about Facebook? I mean, let's talk about that. Does your your old, Neither of my kids have Facebook yet. I mean, the day is coming soon because a lot some of their friends already have it. Yeah. Well, where where are you, where are you coming down? We on Facebook? Uh, do not have it. Yeah. We uh, my daughters are ten and thirteen, seventh grade and fourth grade. Yeah. Up. Uh, Definitely fourth grade, no way. Yeah, no way. Some of my uh, daughter's friends in seventh have it, and my opinion is she's not. Yeah. Why? Not anytime soon. She doesn't need it. She's doesn't got a uh, cell phone, which was the big question, which she, she can text. Uh, she has an email you know, yeah. account, so We're she there. can email her friends anytime if she needs to. So I think the between the uh, emailing and cell phone texting, which there's a limit, those are enough ways to communicate with friends. The yeah. best way to communicate with friends is live, meaning face-to-face -face or on the telephone, limited amounts. But that's right. what builds social skill, and that's what I agree. Dr. Meeker talks about in the book Strong Fathers. Yeah, it's our, that's because, our Bible, I think. Yeah, it, that, yeah. absolutely. And, and the, I c completely agree. The uh, In society today, you know, they get out of school, they're immediately on texting on the bus ride on the way home, yeah. texting when they get home, emailing. Fit in a little homework. Our kids are good because they, you know, they do their homework and they like school. And then maybe a little TV, and then more texting, and then we we cut it off. So there's the, the cell phone is not on right. typically when she's at home. But for the most part, you know what it's like. Your kids, our kids, yeah. It becomes the way to communicate. Right. That's not right. So so to the heart of the privacy issue. I mean, where you know, what risk is really out there? I mean, I think I think part of what I struggle with is the perceived risk. Of something bad happening, you know, someone all of a sudden finds out my daughter's first and last name, and you know something bad happens. I mean, is there, is that what do you think? Is that perceived? Yeah, or is I, that I a think, real yeah. risk? I, I I think it's a risk, but I think a lot of it is perceived. I mean, I, I remember when the big the, you, the Facebook, uh, sorry, the MySpace. There was a whole you know, oh stalkers and this and that, and I and I, and I absolutely know that it's it's true, right? I mean, these things happen, uh, but when you you know you watch the news and you hear about this stuff, you can you know I think percentage wise. Yeah, I don't know what the percentages are, to be honest with you, but I mean, you know, uh, I fly a lot for work, you know, and, you know, getting on a plane crash, I mean, it's very slim. Right. It's pretty safe. Um, so I'm not sure how actual, actually safe. Yeah. I mean, I think there's a lot of hype around these things. I think there's a generation of people who are a little older than both of us who don't really understand these technologies. I, I actually really enjoy them. I like connecting with people on Facebook. 
I think it's a phenomenal way to reconnect with people who are, you know, but I mean, how, you know, sitting here with you is a lot different than us right. text messaging back and forth. So I do, I do think you have a good point uh, when it's controlled, but I just, I'm just not sure what the real risk is. I mean, I, you right. know, it's like, obviously we want to protect our kids as much as we can. My phone's ringing, uh, but it's nobody I want to talk to, so sorry. Um, one is probably a, a cold call, spam, whatever. You get that on your cell phone? I do know. Like, yeah, I get many of those, yeah. Yeah, that's phenomenal. I really, I really enjoy when people call me on my cell phone. And it's like, you know, my favorite, though, is the, uh, if you've gotten, ever gotten this one, it's a, it's a ship horn. And then someone comes on, it's like, sounds like some is that cruise right? director. On your yeah. cell phone? Yeah, and she's like, oh, yeah. you got to come on the cruise. It's like, a, you know, it's like, I laugh, but then it's like, oh, shut the hell up. Anyway. Uh, I don't get that, yeah. Uh, so, again. I, I understand it, but I don't get that on my cell phone. No, yeah, yeah, I see. Um, so, you know, I don't know. I mean, perceived risk versus real risk. Obviously, we're going to do everything we can to keep our kids and our families safe. Right. Uh, but what's, you know, I just wonder what the real risk is. You know what, it's all, uh, you know, the perception, the, the hype, you know, the media, the, you hear a bad story, the media blows out of proportion, everyone, you know, panics. Mm -hmm. You know, kids, uh, you know, we get all the bad stuff on the news and we want to protect our kids. You know, you know another topic around uh, safety, security, privacy sure. is... You, we can't let our kids go outside to play anymore, really. That's why we have organized sports. We want to keep our kids That's active. That's true. I mean, I, you know. Depends on the neighborhood, but I mean, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to let my kids, you know, walk four blocks over to play with yeah. friends. And Interesting. You? Uh, you know, we, we have. We yeah. have. I, I, think we, I think we've made a, I mean, we live in a pretty safe neighborhood, you know, relatively speaking, you know. Yeah. In a pretty good part of the country and so forth. But, I mean, I think, uh. Yeah, I mean, a couple of years ago, my daughter, you know, she's like, I want a bike so I can bike over. My friend says, it's pretty far. It's probably three quarters of a mile. Yeah. Not far in terms of exercise or, or stress, but I can't right. see her. Right. Uh, and there was a moment in time where, you know, my wife and I were, you know, like, do we do this? Do we not? And it's like, if, you, you got it. I mean, at some point, we sent our daughter, I don't think you did, we sent our daughter to sleep, sleepaway camp. Last year, she was 11 for the first right. time for two weeks. Uh, and boy, those first couple of days were tough. And I went to sleepaway camp from the time I was 10, Bill. 16 basically, and I went for eight weeks. Uh, so God knows what my parents were thinking when they did that. Right. So I don't, I don't, again, I'm, I'm struggling with the real versus the perceived. I mean, I know we like, it's easy to say, oh, our kids go out, can't go out and play anymore. And I do think that's true, and I do think to some extent uh, the world has changed, but I don't know. I, I, I guess in my own little sick mind, I'm trying to preserve some of that. Right. I, I think it's uh, necessary because you want your kids to, to, to have that independence. That's very important. The question is when do you give it to them? Yeah. How much? When does it start? Because uh, we want our kids to grow up yeah. being confident, yep. uh, being healthy, independent, being alive. healthy, <laughs> alive is good. Uh, it's tough, right? That, that's the challenge. So, what's the answer? Let's let's go. Let's go. Make, let's go. Lightning round. Uh, answer machine. Name your kid's name. Last name. Yeah, I'm saying no on that. You're I'm going I'm no. gonna I'm gonna voice over on that. You are. You're gonna change yeah. it because I just don't think uh, every telemarketer need needs it. to know. Because then they start to target you with, yeah. uh, you know marketing things and things that are geared yeah. towards whatever. Who needs it? I don't know. Maybe it's a little overly paranoid, but I, I, I prefer no on that. Okay. I'm going to go no. I mean, I don't have to change anything, so that's the good news. I'm going to stick with no. Uh, I'm going to continue to have my, my voice and my phone number and not my name. Uh, we also don't mention if we're home or not. Just can't get the phone right now. Right. Uh, right. We could be in, you know, Bora Bora for all the caller knows. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, next question, uh, and we'll wrap up episode, uh, first episode or second episode, as it were. Um, Facebook. When? Uh, if I were to put an age on it, I'd say 15. So what is that, ninth grade? Yeah, ninth. Wow. So I did a little research. Unofficial research, but research nonetheless. Found one of my daughter's friends who has a Facebook. And of course you can see all their friends without friending them. Uh, a lot of kids, seventh grade. Apparently How around... friends? A lot. A lot. Yep. And a lot of kids that we know, that we've coached, that we know. In seventh, eighth grade. Apparently, it seems like, at least in this area, about... Midway through seventh grade is when a lot of these kids yeah, right, right. get on. Uh, I'm going to try to survive seventh grade. I'm going to say eighth grade. I'm going to say eighth grade. We're going to do the Facebook thing. I think that uh, there probably is going to be a, a huge amount of drag to get on there. Her friends are all going to be on there. Yep. Uh, I don't want her to, to not participate, but I will tell you what, and we'll do, I'll promise we'll do an episode on how to set your, your uh, privacy settings on Facebook. Yeah, on great idea. TV. I, uh, I'm an expert in that. I spent a lot of time uh, trying to separate my personal and my professional life. I haven't done a perfect job of it. And Facebook actually has added quite a bit of a few, few tools to that. So uh, let's do an episode on that. So that way, you know, when you got your seventh grader asking for Facebook, you know how to, you know how to deal with that. Perfect. Privacy. Good. So lots to think about privacy. Love some comments. Love some thoughts. We'd love to hear what your strategies are with your younger kids in terms of e-communications, privacy, cell phone, 
you know, pictures. I mean, here's a good one. You could, a lot of these kids play travel um, sports, and they could put their name on their jersey or their name on right. their bag. Right. Right. So you know, it's like, hey, Jones, come here a minute. Right. I don't know. I, and again, I, my struggle with the the real risk versus the perceived risk. Look, we live in a dangerous world. That's um, a huge uh, topic right there. Yeah, it's real big. versus perceived. And we we only see the bad stuff on the news, which makes everyone else be uh, overly cautious. Exactly. Maybe is it overly? I don't know. Don't know. Is it being smart? Don't know. So scary stuff. Life is hard. TV. The Live show for the rest of us. We'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone.